So coming to you guys with some breaking news. This obviously took place a couple of hours ago. Gene Deal is still speaking out and I'm glad that he's not holding back any of these clips that are being uploaded, but it just got dark. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing, I mean, it's always been dark. Let's, let's keep it real. It just got even darker. Just when you think it can't get worse. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content, 24 seven fresh content on this channel. Please click that button and subscribe. Send a super thanks to the dollar sign there. Thumbs up on the video. Please click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and let's get into this mess. So, Gene Deal has spoken out and he's discussed the fact that, you know, publishing deals, Tiddy wanted to return them to certain artists in exchange for NDAs, probably because he knew what was coming or just that his past is so shady, he doesn't want it brought up. Now, a lot of people did take those publishing deals back because they wanted some money from, you know, everything that they lost and they can't make much now than what they could have made in the past. Diddy knows that. Now, one of the few people that did not sign was a few of the girls from a super group called Danity Kane. Danity Kane were, you know, formed on one of PDD's reality TV shows. And if we do a deep dive onto his reality TV shows, it's wild what he made people do. I just want to put that out there. It's just insane. But Aubrey O'Day and a few others seem to not have signed NDAs, which is why Aubrey's been speaking out for so many years. Even if you watch clips of Aubrey and Diddy speak, she's very quick to say something. You can tell that P. Diddy thought that Aubrey is onto him, or Aubrey's not afraid of him, or Aubrey's very quick to say X, Y, Z. Gene Dale basically says that when he was in the studio with many other people, including P. Diddy, P. Diddy was talking to everybody when he made this comment, when he said that I am going to drug these girls and pimp them out to my people, pimp them out to my friends, pimp them out to people that I know. This adds credence to one of my recent videos and what other people have been saying online in that they believe P. Diddy is some elite trafficker where, you know, he's bringing these girls or boys through the music industry, through Bad Boy Records, and that is a reason for why I continue to flourish and perhaps an idea or theory for why Clive Davis even wanted to fund it in the first place um, and that you know it just adds credence to all of that that he would drug these people put drugs around them and etc and then of course pimp them out to his friends or people higher above to him who are his friends and therefore that's how he keeps them satisfied that's how he main maintains his protection that's how he doesn't go to jail so it's absolutely wild what Gene Dior said do I believe Gene? Absolutely and I think everything around him and everything that has resurfaced definitely gives Gene Dior credence and everybody else of what they've been saying it's, it's an absolute madness. He stood up there and he said in front of a lot of people we were in the studio and I said something to him and walked out the studio. He said, yo, I'm a drug dick top and picked them up and, and, and picked them out to my, picked them out to my neck. He said, I'm a drug them out. I'm gonna get them all on drugs and I'm gonna pimp them out to my neck. Wow. And I was like, no, somebody kids. He don't care. He and walked out. He don't give a damn. And there's somebody that heard me. There's somebody that heard me. I mean, well, it's not only somebody that heard me. It's somebody that I know who was in the studio at the time that happened, and I still talk to him today. Period. And we were just talking about that the other day. He didn't move back to Indiana. Not Indiana. I don't know why. I'm going to give you that one. He said he was going to drug them all out and pimp them out. That's crazy. I didn't even mean her to come on guys. I'm so sorry, that just came out of nowhere, so I apologize. I really do apologize. Um, sincerely, kind of this is a very serious conversation. Sorry guys, that just came out of nowhere. But there we have it. Gene Deal was saying himself that, you know, first and foremost, this friend of his was also a witness to this conversation and was there in the room. Why is he in Indiana? Why has he moved so far away? He's, you know, somewhere so far from New York. You know, it's interesting. So the fact that he was planning to do this to the Danny T. Kane girls, I'm glad that they did not sign those NDAs. But I really wish people would be clued up when it comes to law, which is not a lot of people. Regardless, irrespective of the fact that if you've signed an NDA, it does not mean that because you've signed that NDA, you cannot speak up if you are witnessing or understand or are privy to illegal actions taking place. You can still go to, you know, file 
something that is important to the courts, a lawsuit, etc., irrespective of an NDA being signed, NDAs don't cover everything. NDAs do not cover crime. And unfortunately, I just don't think a lot of people know this. They don't understand this. They don't want to research or etc. A lot of people obviously don't read their contracts. We know how the music industry already works and even more so from what Diddy's been doing. But I wish people would understand that just because you've signed an NDA doesn't mean that your mouth is zipped until the day you're in your grave. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Fearful, manipulative tactics is what Diddy used to steal money from so many artists and then silence them and then have the audacity to call himself Brother Love and have the audacity to do some ridiculous speech at the Grammys in 2020 talking about how there's lack of diversity, there's so many artists that get shunned and etc. when he's the one shunning them via Bad Boy Records and had ruined so many people's careers. It's absolutely insane. And I only hear the audacity, not even just the audacity, the wildness for him to just say something like that in front of so many people, he knows that because he has so much power, he can say stuff like this and get away with it. That's how much ego and power he had and was given by people high up above them. And evidently he thought that the Danny T. Gang girls would be a good selection of people for the elites above him, let alone perhaps Usher, let alone perhaps Bieber. And if these boys and girls keep quiet and do X, Y, Z, perhaps their careers would excel or sometimes they just be discarded. You know, it works either way for so many people. I feel sorry for Mace. I feel like if you know the story about Mace and hopefully people are clued up and educated, if they're not about Bad Boy Records, they should be. And how he was treated so bad, the guy barely got $20,000, if at best, for some of his deals and barely got paid. And it was very successful in his era when he first came out. So him is him. Mace is just one example of so many people um, that Bad Boy Records have messed up. And this is what it is. I feel like he is some kind of elite trafficker, my personal opinion, and that is why he is protected to this day. But I do think that the more that this becomes public knowledge and the more people connect the dots and the more of it's public information, it might work against Diddy. But as of right now, Diddy is still wealthy and Diddy is still somebody who has those connections. For how long, we don't know. But well, shocked? Uh, I don't know at this point. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I would really appreciate it. Filming this at 1 a.m. for you guys. Click that thumbs up button. Comment down below and send a super thanks. If you guys wish to, there's a dollar sign there. You can send whatever you want. It goes a long way, child, because I've been working my ass off this entire... Guys, this entire week has been every single day I'm sleeping at 6 a.m. <laughs> like my sleeping pattern is gone off the window because there's so much coming out and I need to stay on top of it for you guys. Subscribe, I would appreciate it and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.